New at 5, Cook County Crime Stoppers is offering a $15,000 reward for information about the Irving Park shooting last month that took the life of a 50-year-old man named Carlos Rivera. He is one of a record-breaking number of cases that the Cook County Crime Stoppers organization is involved with this year. And CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live. Megan, tonight you're emceeing their awards dinner downtown. Right, Erica, I'm at the Chicago Marriott downtown where that dinner is about to kick off. The Chicago, or the, sorry, the Cook County Crime Stoppers are honoring law enforcement, legal, and other municipal leaders that help bring justice to victims and their families. And this year, their work is more important than ever. We are asking and pleading for this case to be solved. Cook County Crime Stoppers has brought citizens, law enforcement agencies, businesses, and the media together to encourage people to anonymously report tips on crime. To this day, we still wonder, wonder what happened, why? And in 2022, they've been asked to help out in more than 100 cases, far more than any year before. And they think the case is solved, so they don't say anything. It may have to do with a recent rise in violent crime that we saw starting in 2020. Last year's homicide rate was the worst we've seen in decades. So far this year, Crime Stoppers has been involved in 87 homicides, eight fatal hit and runs, two missing person cases, one attempted murder, one fraud, and one burglary case. Allowing murders to go unsolved sends a horrible message to community. It, it traumatizes families forever. And they've gotten results. Of the 89 cases they distributed flyers in, 40 of those cases received tips. And from those tips, eight cases have been closed or solved. People now realize they have to do something. Cook County Crime Stoppers Chairman George McDade tells me they are handling the influx of cases the best they can. Because every tip, whether big or small, could have a life-changing impact. Does it work every time? The answer is no. Does it work? The answer is yes. But you can't give up. You can't give up. I can't give up. Law enforcement can't give up. The politicians can't give up. Nobody can give up because we can't say well, we're going to tolerate this. Now, McDade has been with Crime Stoppers since 1995, and he says about 45 percent of the time they end up getting a tip. They'll be out pounding the pavement, setting up flyers, knocking on doors again this Saturday in Irving Park. Reporting live, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. It is a critical tool, Megan. Thank you very much.